What's going on, everybody? It's host of the Life Games channel, Lamont Tyson. Back to give you some more fact finding videos. And I'm going to start a video series called What the Hell Does That Have to Do with Health and Fitness? Let me remind you guys that this channel is all about helping people move all the moving parts of life together to give you a life game with a foundation in health and fitness. Today, we're going to talk about what does health and fitness have to do with marriage, race, divorce, and general infidelity. Before we get into it, I thought I'd let you guys see this little quick video. It goes over some of the, some would say fun facts, but I would say sad facts of marriage and divorce across America and across the world. Take a look. After seeing that, what do you guys think? Now for what I would give you is my two cents on health and divorce. Um, we all know that the data on obesity in America, you're talking more than 55% of the population is obese. There are a number of reasons people are obese. You know, more food is available nowadays. Um, access to that food, different things that people are genetically putting in the food. Guys, that is no different from what is going on with marriages in America. Um, we have an obesity problem with marriage because you have greater access to people via social media. It's just very, very easy for people to succumb to the temptation. You have more avenues to get it. You have more ways to get it. And just like a fitness program, just like you're dieting, you have got to find within yourself ability to stay faithful. Going on a fitness journey teaches you a lot of discipline because you're looking at yourself, you're seeing what your goal is at the end of the tunnel, and you're visualizing that goal day to day no matter how bad it gets. Same holds true with a marriage. When you marry somebody and you're saying, I do, and that's gonna be it, you've got to visualize your goal of staying married, getting to the end of that tunnel together, living in holy matrimony and holy bliss. Guys, bad diets, bad relationships, they all go back to some form of bad behavior that you created. And you have control to take over a bad marriage and do the right thing you can do to make it work. I know there are some cases where it's just not gonna work. I know some people just feel like, oh, she did this to me and I'm not gonna stay with her, or he did this to me and I'm not gonna stay with her. Think about it before you do it. Um, there are a lot of things that can throw you off course on your fitness and your macros when you're trying to reach a fitness goal that when you look back, you'll be like, Dad, I wish I would have started early. Some things, guys, in a marriage, if you're, gonna, if you're in it to win it, you're committed for the long term, you look at some of those speed bumps that happen and you say, you know what, it's behind us, I love you and I trust you, and I'm going to go forward. So, guys, that's going to be it for today. Don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe, go out there and get yourself a life game. And follow more of my videos on what the hell does this have to do with you.